Hey, what's up guys? It's Kita. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. On this video, I'm going to be doing a budget plan with me. Didn't get a chance to do one for last month, so I thought I would jump back on the bandwagon of budgeting and do one for January. So that's what we're doing today. And I'm also going to be announcing something really exciting as well. And so that's what we're doing in this video. So hopefully if you're new here, you will stick around and continue watching and you will give me a thumbs up if you enjoy the video. Also, turn that notification bell on so that way you don't miss out on any videos so without further ado if you want to see my budget plan with me for the month of January make sure to stick around All right guys, so this is my catch-all planner. I do have a budgeting section within my planner here I use the happy planner budget planner and so this is undated so i do need to date it so i'm going to be doing my monthly and then i'm also going to be breaking some things down so i'm going to be using a budget kit that i received from shea budgets awesome kit she customized it for me the colors are custom she also added some other custom items so i'm super excited to be using this finally should have used it a while ago because i need to order another one for next month and so i am excited to be using this so i'm going to go ahead and open this baby up so you can see what is all included it's super pretty she just recently started a shop so i'll make sure to put the link below just in case you're interested but it comes with four pages I believe or three pages three pages so you've got this page here which has like your headers and things and your payday flags then it also comes with more headers and then some other things to uh, list and build due and some balances and um, other fun stuff so I'm excited to be using this kit today so that's what we're going to be using also wanted to share some exciting news so I am doing my first giveaway of 2019 I'm so excited about it I'm actually going to be giving away money I'm going to be giving away a hundred dollar gift card and so I'm excited about that I've never given away a gift card or money before normally try to give away planner stuff or um my last giveaway was giving away a YouTube studio, which was valued over $100. And so I thought I'd do another giveaway to start the year off. And so all you have to do, it's budget related, super easy to enter the giveaway. It's gonna last a week. So I'll be announcing the giveaway winner next Wednesday. So here's the giveaway details. So I use a fabulous app called Acorns, which you guys hear me talking about a lot throughout my budget videos. I absolutely love Acorns. It is a great way to save money. And so all you have to do to enter the giveaway is sign up for Acorns, create a new account uh, via a link that I'll list in the description box. And then you have to make your first investment by January 30th. And that will enter you in the giveaway. Super easy, right? Now there's a couple of other exciting things that go along with that when you sign up for your acorns you get a five dollar credit to your acorns account which is awesome right and so you can start off already with that opening balance of five dollars but in order to receive that you have to click on that link that's going to be in the description box so you will get five dollars and then i will also get five dollars for you signing up as well so that is an incentive for me as well to also share this with you of course um, there has to be an incentive in it right i know i want to be transparent with you guys and honest with you guys and let you know that there is an incentive there um, so you get five dollars as well as I get five dollars and then in terms of the investment that you have to make before January 30th it can be any dollar amount doesn't have to be um, anything fancy or elaborate or um, you know any high dollar value it can be a dollar it can be you know just whatever you want you have to just sign up and make that first investment before the 30th of january budgeting and saving is a part of your goal for 2019 then acorns is a great app to use to start working towards that goal so it's dual fold of course there's an incentive for me there's an incentive for you and then also uh, using that app will help you to achieve your goals for 2019 so that's all you have to do to enter the giveaway of course i'll put everything down in the description box below a hundred dollar gift card is going to be sent to you um, you can use it wherever you'd like it'll be just be a visa or um, you know some sort of monetary gift card it won't be like to a specific store or anything like that so you can use it wherever you want so that's what I'm doing for my first giveaway for 2019 so make sure to sign up for acorns and I just think it's a great thing to sign up for it anyways even if you don't want to be a part of the giveaway I love acorns um, I have a lot of money right now in my acorns being saved up and I also do um, an auto debit to acorn so it'll round up my spending and so that helps as well so I also do that in addition to actually throwing some money into acorns 
and Acorns is also a free app to sign up. So you don't have to pay anything to sign up. You can download it from the App Store or you can download it from Google Play and that way you'll have it on your phone and you can constantly be referring to it. Uh, you can also log in online on your desktop computer. So it's free. You get uh, $5 I'm going back to you for signing up and then you get to enter the giveaway. So I think it's a win-win. So that is the giveaway guys. So hopefully that's pretty exciting to you. So I wanted to announce that first and foremost and uh, also do a plan with me for January using Shea Budgets Kit, which I'll also leave a link in the description box as well, just in case you want to pick this up. Her stuff is super fabulous. Love the paper quality. Everything about it is uh, screams me. I love the color scheme as well. Everything looks gorgeous. So I'm excited to use it. So giveaway. Now we're doing the plan with me. So let's get started with that. All right, so the first thing that I'm gonna do, guys, is I'm gonna go ahead and plan my monthly. Uh, within her budget kit, she does give you lots of bill dues and she uh, customized a few things for me, which is awesome. So I'm gonna do my uh, weekly, so I'm gonna do my monthly spread first. I also do need to date it because again, this is an undated budget planner. And then once I do all of that, um, then we can move forward to breaking things down and using some of her other stuff to see how that's gonna work out. So let's go ahead and get started with the dating process. Once I get done dating it, I'll come back and I'll show you how I'm gonna use these uh, right here. And um, then we're gonna use some uh, sticker books and such to, uh, to decorate it and make it look even cuter. So let's go ahead and get started with that process. All right, so I put all the monthly stickers on here um, as, far, as far as the dates are concerned. So it's all dated. So now I wanna go ahead and start adding my bills. So again, we're gonna be using mainly this page here because this has all the bill due stickers. Um, I'm not gonna be using some of this stuff. And so yeah, some of that stuff won't pertain to this particular plan with me, but maybe I'll use them sometime in the future. So next step is to go ahead and add all of the bills. I also wanted to let you guys know if you're new here watching my budget videos is that this is only for my business income. So this isn't for my complete household expenses and income. My husband makes what he makes. And so that is not factored here. This is only the amount that I make from my shops, my YouTube and all of that stuff and uh, how I use that money. So I just wanted to disclaim that. Also wanted to say, which I've, um, notice that I haven't been saying in my previous videos is that I am not a budget professional, a financial expert by any means. This is just how I spend and how I utilize my money for my shops and uh, my personal income. And this is how I budget plan for myself. So I have to throw that out there. I'm not a professional. I'm just a rookie on the basic level because I still feel like I'm learning so much from all of these uh, YouTubers. And so, yeah, so I just want to let you know that I am not an expert. I am just going through this process and trying to figure it all out uh, as well. So now that we have got that established, I'm all right, so now we're ready to go ahead and start adding our expenses. Again, I'm gonna be using this budget kit right here. It's got uh, our bill due stuff, uh, some of the stuff I won't be using, but we're gonna just add it as I see fit. And so we're gonna start an order from, you know, the first onto the 31st and go ahead and put those bills in that I need to pay. So the first bill that I need to pay is going to be, looks like Rhapsody's due on the 5th. 
and that is the first bill, Rhapsody, on the fifth. So let me grab a bill of doom. Super easy to peel off. Look at how gorgeous that is. Let me just zoom you in. Hopefully you can see that. That is just really pretty, really great quality. I love it. Come on, stay zoomed in. So yeah, isn't that so cute? All right, so we need to put that on the fifth. And it fits perfectly in the Happy Planner squares. Yay. All right, and that bill, let me grab my pen. All right, and that is $15. And that has already been paid, so I can check that off. And then the next bill is, and I need to do my grocery shopping too. Normally, um, Sunday, I sit down and write my list out and everything, and then I go ahead and order on uh, my grocery service, and then Monday, I pick it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a grocery bag, and my budget for the month is $400 try to spend less than that if I can and um, and that pretty much works out so that is all a part of my budget and my the things that I have to take care of for the household so I'm just looking through the budget sticker book to see if I can find those shopping carts I'm pretty sure I'm not the shopping carts but the shopping bags I'm pretty sure they're in here all right so I want to put those on every Monday I'm just gonna do that now. And I do have a major grocery shopping typically at the beginning of the month. Um, and so that typically goes over $100. So if that is the case, sometimes it's under $100. It just all depends on what we need. Then the, of course the $400 will be spread out differently. But I typically try to keep it at $100 a week. So let's do 100, 100. All right, so now that we've got all of our grocery shopping, the next bill is on the 9th and it's not a bill. It's actually for, oh, and she did give me a custom sticker for Rhapsody, which I'm just noticing. She gave me one for Rhapsody, Soundstripe, and Epidemic, so I need to pay more attention next time. Um, so the next one is the ninth, and again, it's not a bill, but I am going to put it in there as a bill. But it is my, um, my cards and my envelopes for my shipping supplies. And so I'm going to put that in. And then this is Rhapsody. All right, in my cards and my envelopes, I try to spend about $40. All right, that's on the 9th. So that is coming up tomorrow. And actually, I think I already bought them for the month. I bought them a little bit early. And so, yeah, I think we're good on that. And I think I spent a little bit less than that. So... But it was right around that. I'll double check, but that's how much I like to budget in. Okay, so next up is my Hulu. And also I order sticker paper, which I did also already order. And so I can check that off as well. Um, so my Hulu is due on the 15th, as well as that's when I like to purchase my sticker paper typically. But I, I already ordered it on the 1st. So I'm going to go back and put put that on the first All right, so this is my online labels and that is typically for a hundred and twenty five dollars yes a hundred and twenty five dollars so that is done and then the 15th again that is for my Hulu and that is eight dollars all right so we're moving right along here so next up is Torrid and that's due on the 18th let's grab another one and that is my credit card 
and that I like to pay $35 and that is more than the minimum I like to pay more than a minimum if possible especially if I have like extra money lots of extra money I'll just throw it into the credit card next is my epidemic music and that is on the 20th I did put my food my grocery stuff is in the way so I'm gonna put it on the 19th but it is due on the 20th and it is an automatic payment and that is $15 as well all right and then I do get paid from YouTube on the 20th and how I'm doing it now wasn't it doing it before is that when it comes to my shop income I hold it you can tweak the settings in um, Shopify and have them hold your money until whatever day you want them to hold it to and so I like to get paid by both YouTube and my Shopify on the same day so that way I can factor that income in for the next month you guys know my income goes from the 20th to the 20th or the 21st to the 21st because that works for me um, it would be too confusing to do it from the first to the 31st in my opinion so I just do it because I get paid from both shop and YouTube on the 21st so I count that income for the next month so this income here for January is from December's income if that makes sense but you'll see that more on the next page so that's when I get paid for from YouTube and from Shopify now I get paid from Amazon at the end of the month and I have two Amazons so again it just works out better for me to just count all of this income here to the next month um, so that it's not confusing for me so just wanted to mark those two paydays and then also I forgot about my sound stripe that is also due on the 18th but I don't have enough space so what I'll do is I'll just grab a bullet point or something and I'll write it in. And my um, sound stripe is the same cost, $15. All right, so I think I've got everything in there, right? And my gym membership. Lastly is my gym membership. And that is due, what is my gym membership due? Let me look that up really quickly. Next time I order these, I probably order them to be blank here and not say bill due. Um, and that way I can write in that word right here on top of it. And I think that may work out better for me. So that is all of my bills. As you can see, me personally, I don't have that much that I have to pay. My husband pays the majority of the bills. And then I have a lot of extra income that I can save, which is great because it saves towards both of our goal. So that's all of my bills. Let me just do a quick check and just to make sure I've got everything down. All right, perfect. So now I'm going to add just a little more decoration to it just to make it look cute and fun and then we're gonna move on All right guys, so I'm done with my monthly spread and I've got all my bills on here, so everything's all good on my monthly. So now I can flip over and I can break everything down for you guys. So let me grab what I need. All right, budget kit here. And then I think I need the other side of the page from the budget planner because I'm this again is new to me in terms of how I'm planning it right now with these stickers. And I don't use all of the budget click pages, just FYI, I only use two, really, and then the monthly. Okay, so let's see how we want to organize this. So I like to put all of my bills on one page, all of my income on the other page, and that works for me. Well, that's what I think I'm going to do in this case. And I think I've been doing that in the past, so we're going to stick with that. So we want to do our income first. So she's got a sticker here for income tracker. 
So we're gonna add that right to the top. If it fits, we may have to trim it, which is okay. Alright, so let's just trim off the excess. Alright, that looks perfectly fine. And then we're going to put the expenses on the other side. I think this part here is formatted for the Erin Condren planner, but as you can see, it pretty much still works out for the Happy Planner as well. Okay, that's and this is all how I think is going to work for me. Um, some people may use their kit in a different way. I'm sure Shay probably uses it in a different way, but this is how I'm thinking is going to work for me. And of course, if anything needs to be changed, then I'll change it. So I'm not sure if this is going to line up, but we're going to see. So my income, this little strip here that says income budgeted actual. And since we're already in January, I'm not going to use the budgeted. I'm going to use just the actual. So let's see y'all. How can I put this in to where it will line up? I don't think it's going to line up, which is fine. Right? I mean, it'll just... No... Okay, I don't know how to use this, guys. I think I'm gonna cut it. Because again, this is formatted for just a sheet of paper, I think. Not even formatted for Aaron Condren. And since I wanna use my budget planner, I'm gonna cut it. And again, I'm not using the budgeted column, but I just want you to see it there because I probably will use it for next time because I like to do my projected income for next month. All right, I also want to put my savings goals here. So I'm trying to just see which one of these I want to use. I think I'm going to use my goals. So this is just strictly going to be for savings for the month. Good on the expenses side. I'm trying to think if I want to put anything in the bottom there. I want to put, um, I was thinking about this. No, I think I'm just going to leave that for notes at the bottom. Yeah, and then she does have a little strip of washi down here. So I'll use that also just to add more deco to it. All right, so that's how it looks, guys. I love it. I really, really love it. All right, so now we can write everything in. So let's talk through this. All right, so now that that's done, let's talk through this and get everything on paper so we can see what we're working with. So we'll start with the income. So for the month of December, because you remember this is December. When I get paid on December 21st for YouTube and my shops, remember I go from the 21st to the 21st. So this is my shop income for the month of December, my YouTube for the month of December, and all of my other stuff for the month of December that came in in December and uh, posted on the 21st. So I'm going to work with the 21st of December to, to the 21st of January when I get my next payment from YouTube and my shops and everything. So for YouTube, I made 
there's no need to put a budget it because we're working with actual numbers here and then my Amazon I have two Amazon accounts so I call this Amazon number one was 269.50 and then Amazon number two is 14.95 I'm trying to transition everything into my Amazon number two which is like the actual Amazon shop where you can go and you can see everything all split up and organized my Amazon number one is basically just all of my links and every single YouTube uh, video that I post so I want to eventually transition to number two that's why the dollar amount is so much lower and then my shops little miss fancy plans was $17.50.97 and remember I take out all of my fees and these are actual numbers after fees after taxes all of that stuff well not after taxes because YouTube is not after taxes and of course I've got to pay all the taxes and all of this stuff but this is after fees just so you know that and then my the party girl studio shop is $61.00 19 and then we've got our digital shop on Etsy digi Prince boutique and that is 112 and no change all right so the total for that as far as income is 38 34 61 so that's my total income for the month. That's what we're working with. And then I want to go ahead and put my savings goals for Acorns. I do two things. Um, auto payments come out over the month. And so I will need to do a uh, budget uh, budget it in an actual. Um, I normally budget 40. So that's where they round up. And so I'll come back and do the actual once the actual occurs. But we're just going to work with that $40 for now. Then I also throw $120 into Acorns. So this is the roundup and I normally budget and project it is going to be the same amount $120 and then I need to also do my taxes and so I think I'm going to put that in the goals here the savings goal because I haven't had to pay taxes yet but I do want to be saving towards that because I'm not sure what to anticipate and so I just like to throw 500 in there just in case so we'll budget 500 and again it'll probably be 500 and then I just like to save in general so throwing some money in savings I want to do an additional 500 and we'll do a budget because it could actually be more than that but I'm gonna write in 500 and if I do more then I'll cross that out and I'll put you know what I actually put in there so after my income is made and I do my goals my saving goals let me do a count of that so that is So that equals 11.16, oh, I'm sorry, 11.60, that's the total, and then that's the total income. All right, so now that we've got our income, we need to write in our expenses, and then we're going to total everything out and see how much we have left. All right, so we're basically going to list out all of the bills and expenses that I just did in my monthly plan with me, as well as some other things. And then we're going to see what the balance is and we're going to see what we have to work with remaining up until I get paid on the 21st for this stuff all over again. Because again, I work from the 21st to the 21st and that works for me. So let's go ahead and start writing some of that stuff in again. So we've got Torrid. And I think what I'm going to do going forward is I'm going to write budgeted first and then once I pay it, I'm going to do the actual. Um, and that's going to be kind of my way of checking it off since I covered up the checkoff column with this plus minus so I can see what the difference is. So we've got tour there and then we've got epidemic. And this should be in the order pretty much in how it gets paid. So um so that should be that should work. So that's fifteen dollars, and then we have our Soundstripe, 
And I think one of you lovely people signed up for my Soundstripe through my affiliate because they do have affiliate program and they wipe out your balance, um, not your balance, but your monthly payment gets offset because they give you a $15 credit. And so that has happened in the past before. So thank you to whoever has signed up. And so I think for this month, I don't have to pay that $15, um, but I'm just going to budget it in just in case. I am wrong but I know one came in and I'm not sure if it applies immediately or not so I'm just gonna budget it in and then we have Rhapsody which is also $15 then we have our groceries and this is budgeted 400 but the actual one may be different um, labels are 125 and that's for my sticker shop stuff and then Hulu is one oh eight dollars and then my gym membership at LA Fitness is $24.99 and then my shipping supplies $40. Okay, so I've listed all of my expenses, all of the stuff that you just saw on my monthly layout. And so now I need to add a couple of things because we did have to make a major purchase. And because again, I go from the 21st to the 21st, um, maybe a week ago, we had to pay for a new garage door. And that came out of my funds. And that's was $1,200. So that was a super huge expense. And then also our anniversary was on the 26th of December. And I purchased a gift for my husband, which was um, $125, including the card and incidentals and things. And so I want to put that here too. And other than that, I don't believe I've spent anything else major that needs to go in the expenses column so I'm gonna total this out and I'm gonna see what is left now I did purchase some other things and so what I'll do is I'll add that to my uh, running list of what I've bought which is my expense tracker so I'll add that there and so that way when I do my end of month um, check-in to see like exactly where everything fell and like how I did then I'll be able to see like true numbers in terms of what is left and whatever is left over, I just throw it into savings because I want to start with a zero dollar for that next month. Me personally. Um, so I like to start with whatever the income and everything for the next month is. Um, I like to not have to factor in anything that's remaining from the previous month. So that's just how I do it. That works for me. And so anything left over that I have left after the budget is done at the end of the month and I get my real numbers in, then I like to save whatever's left over. So that works for me. Not sure how anyone else does it, but I like doing it like that. So let me go ahead and total this up really quick. All right, so the total is $2,002.99 spent. And remember my income is 38.34.61. I also have to factor in my savings, which may need to be tweaked because again, that garage was a doozy for me. And so let's just see. So my income, 38.34.61 minus my expenses, 2,002.99 equals the amount that I have left would be 1831.62. Okay, perfect. So I'm good to go with subtracting my savings goals of 1160. So that leaves me with a good amount. 671.62. 671.62. So this is the amount that I have left over. Um, that's going to last me until the 21st of next month. Now I do also need to factor in again my expense tracker like anything I've spent because I did buy some new transitions for my um, Final Cut Pro so I do need to factor that in and some other things that I bought you know like we went to Six Flags things like that so that's all going to come out of here but I know I didn't spend $670 worth so um, this is going to take it down a little bit but I have a number in terms of what I have left to spend based on all of this. And so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and write in my expense tracker, um, not on camera, I'll do that later. Because again, it was just a few things because it's only the eighth of the month. Well, 
I go from the 21st to the 21st, so technically it's been about two weeks. But I haven't really spent that much because I've been trying to be really tight with the budget. So I'm estimating I probably have maybe about $400 left. And that's going to take me until the 20th, which is in about 12 days. So I should be good to go. So again, once I pay this stuff, which I have already paid my, um, my Rhapsody, and then I already did do my groceries. And so I'm not going to do the actual yet for my groceries because I want to see what the actual actual is since I do that weekly but I did uh, pay my Rhapsody of $15 so that is the only thing that has been paid so far and everything else yep so we're good we're good so this is this this is it and remember every all of my numbers and everything like even my um, shop income I try to calculate from the 21st to the 21st when I pull a report and so that way you get true numbers so this is it guys so income 3834 61 um, with all of my stuff that's coming in my expenses were two thousand and two ninety nine and then I wanted to save eleven hundred and sixty dollars so after all of this is said and done I have six seventy one sixty two to work with this isn't a typical month because I typically don't spend that much on something during the month that was just a, a big purchase for this month and so this would be a lot more it would probably be around two thousand um, dollars and what I do again is I buy my little personal stuff and any other incidentals during the month um, I buy that stuff and then whatever's left over I put it in savings and I start the month fresh so this is the plan with me for my budget planner and I hopefully it wasn't confusing I'm still trying to learn this whole budget life I've been learning a lot from Shay and also E. Michelle and some other fantastic planner babes um, that do budgeting and so I'm excited about this whole journey so this is everything that I have left over as, as you can see there's a lot left over so you can uh, do another month of planning using the same kit. So I absolutely love Shay's kit. She did a really, really good job and she really, really listened um, in terms of what I wanted because she did ask me like, you know, my aesthetic and like the color scheme and I told her what I wanted and I love the colors. I think everything looks fantastic. So that is the plan with me, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Again, giveaway, y'all, $100. I've never given away that much besides the YouTube studio, which was valued more than that, but I've never given away that much cash money, y'all. So $100 giveaway, it's going to run from today, which is Wednesday until next Wednesday which will be the announcement so make sure to check the link below for all of the details all you have to do is sign up for acorns which I use as you guys can see I throw lots of money into acorns I love acorns fantastic way of rounding up when you spend and then also throwing extra money in there as needed so sign up for acorns you get a five dollars for signing up five dollar credit goes into your acorns as well as my acorns so thank you so much if you do decide to enter the giveaway and then also you have to make your first investment by the 30th of January and so I would go ahead and do that now because I need to be able to verify that by next Monday and again it doesn't have to be that much it can be a dollar whatever you decide so thank you guys so much for joining me on this plan with me again I'm still working towards my budgeting goals trying to figure this whole thing out I welcome your tips and tricks so make sure to comment them below I really appreciate that and I love sharing real numbers with you guys again this is just my business income nothing to do with my husband household expenses anything like that this is just the money I bring in and how I use it so hopefully that helps someone and if it does my goal is achieved so thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you got a little bit of inspiration out of it you found maybe something you want to use in your planner i will also put the link to the budget stickers from shea budgets down below just in case you're interested in those and so that's it for this video guys hopefully you will consider subscribing if you're new here and also giving me a thumbs up if you enjoy this video Make sure to let me know of any questions that you guys have about the giveaway, about the spread, about my budgeting, anything. You guys know I'm here for you. And so that's it for this video. And I hope that I will catch you guys on the next video, in which case I'll see you then.